when I taught it last year, it had something called QCOM, and it was collaborating. We were required to collaborate so much time each month. Once a week, we met as, as um, grade level PLCs, is what they were called. And we talked about our students, we talked about goals for our grade levels and what we were going to be working on. And each group had its own goal they had to do for the year and whether or not they met it. There was money at the end, unfortunately, but that's a, a motivator. But it was a good collaboration tool because you talked with colleagues that you didn't normally, normally talk to and got feedback from them. So they'd come watch you teach, you'd go watch them teach and talk to each other about what you saw. So to push back, which is great. Collaboration, yeah, it's formalized, it's working. We're doing with QCOM. Can you get one of my favorite books? This is called Zap and Education. Fastest read, you'll love it. one of your O's was off-site. And in order <coughs> for us to truly collaborate, it's things like this. Mm -hmm. It's things like this where we get off-site, we get out of the pressure of our classroom, we get out of the, um, but I should be planning, you know, instead of listening to college events. You know, like, there, there are so many benefits that could be utilized within education if we would look at it and say, look, we, we are a business. As much as we hate maybe perhaps that word or it's a loaded word, we are a business. And we are more complex than many businesses because I have to sell what I, if I have to sell to my product what I'm selling in content and I have to produce a product for our nation and for our global community. And so, if, you, if we really want to collaborate, we need to start looking at education a little bit differently. I was going to try to stay away from too much blaming or shaming, but uh, I know the state of Minnesota, I don't know if this happened in your district still, uh, for a while, you could not leave the state in some professional development unless you got permission from the state. Some of you in your district, you could not go outside your district for anything unless because of the publicity of being at a meeting Minneapolis, or for us in the Twin Cities, being up in Covina and going to a 14 hour session, but being at Madden's, that's gone. It's gone because of the fear of being off site. Okay? There you go. Um, I know there's more. There, thank you for indulging the conversation. It may not have been what you thought it was going to be. It's not a fix, it's a conversation of what do we do next. So it's a what if. What if uh, this moves into another conversation, which is great. So thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. Love uh, seeing y'all. My tie, by the way, I wore this. It's a Beatles tune. So if you know the Beatles tune, come up to me. I have one more gift for someone if you can figure it out. Okay? Thank you. Good. Thank you.